Hey man, stay safe world. You already know what's going on. We gotta talk about the situation with Gunna. It's definitely not looking good for him, man. He basically got denied bond today and his court date is scheduled for January 23rd, man. We gonna get right in January 23rd, 2023. We gonna get right into it. But before we do, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. We gonna run this up. So basically, if you haven't been following the situation with YSL, they're basically going through a Rico indictment with Gunna, Young Thug. Basically, the whole label is behind jail right now, 26 other people. And it seems like the whole process that the DA is trying to do is trying to have them in jail to break them because they got denied bond. And Gunna was like the more innocent person. Like, I, I wouldn't say he's completely innocent, but it wasn't like he was doing the crazy shit that Young Thug was accused of, you know? Like, he was just kind of just there based off association. So, that is definitely not good that they have him, like, they're going to have him in jail for another eight months. That must extra suck, yo. They really have, like, a, like a new vendetta against these guys, man. Like, I mean, I guess it's not crazy, but at the same time, it's like they really got gunned down bad and he didn't really even do anything. But let's get into it. So Young Thug was also denied bond at a hearing on Wednesday following a Monday indictment that charged him as well as Gunna and 26 other members of the Young Slime Life crew with felony conspiracy to violate the racketeering act. The celebrated Atlanta rapper, whose legal name is Jeffrey Lamar Williams, faces an additional felony of participating in criminal street activity gang within the indictment and was hit with seven new felony charges outside the indictment after Raiders house on Monday. Basically, uh, Fulton County Magistrate Court Judge Robert Wolf clarified that he could only rule on bond in the case of seven new felony charges as the initial indictment is under review of uh, Fulton County Superior Court. Um, yeah, basically the state prosecutor recommended that they all be denied bond, arguing that they pose a flight risk due to his considerable resources. And that basically applies for all of them. And that's definitely not cool. I mean, like, but at the same time, I don't really know what else you could uh, even like, like do at that point. And I, like at this point, like if you're, you're gonna be locked up for a year, man, let's hope that your defense is like on point. And I, I don't really see like an end of this coming. Like maybe like Gunner will be able to get out of this situation in a year from now, but like it doesn't look like Young Thug is really gonna be like getting out anytime soon but gunna whose legal name is sergio giovanni kitchens faces only the broad strokes of racketeering charges at this time judge wolf mentioned during williams hearing that kitchens sergio kitchens which is gunna had appeared in his court earlier today and that his case is a different situation as his sole charge falls on the initial indictment 11 alive the atlanta news channel that first reported on williams hearing also reports that kitchens was denied bond in his initial hearing clarifying that the judge has said that he was absolutely considered bond the judge said he would absolutely consider bond based on the merits of the case but that he doesn't give the authority to do so before the superior court makes its ruling however an attorney for Garland Samuel and Lowe PC, the firm representing Kitchens, who's Gunna, told the fader kid, uh, told the fader that Gunna had not yet had his initial bond hearing and declined to offer any further information. So, I'm guessing his his uh, bond hearing ended up happening today. Damn, it looks like it didn't go through, but I'm guessing maybe uh, he'll be able to. I don't know if they ruled on the superior court yet or if that was just the initial bond hearing because I remember watching the Gunna one and they basically, the judge said they didn't have authority to give him bond in the first place. So, I mean, maybe there's still a chance, but it's definitely not looking good, bro. Like when you're like facing these type of charges and they just got, like I said, they just got Gunna based off association. So maybe he's the one that will be able to get out, but like they're gonna obviously try to hound him for information and shit like that, man. It's definitely not good, but I've seen a good take on this. Basically, like I feel bad for them, but at the same time, if they really were terrorizing their own community and recruiting their own people, like black people to kill other black people, then 
I guess they kind of deserve this shit. But if it's just one misunderstanding and these are just people that were under him and he didn't call the shots on anything and it was just people just doing stuff and he didn't really know, then it's like, man, that's super fucked up. You can't like, you can't get someone locked up just for that, just for being in the wrong place, wrong time when you're not even the person associated. But obviously there's a lot of different charges, at least on Young Thug's side. On Gunna's side though, it's kind of straightforward. It's literally just he was wearing the YSL pendant and like talks about further into the gang and stuff. So they're trying to tie him into a street game, but they're probably gonna try to prove that it was like some type of like record label or something like that. So it's gonna be interesting to see, man. It's gonna be a long time before we fucking figure this shit out. It's looking like the case isn't gonna be till goddamn January 23rd. And you know those shits keep getting pushed back, man. So he's probably gonna be behind bars for years. So, you know, better get that popcorn out, sit back, fucking relax for a minute. You ain't gonna hear no new gunner shit for a minute, man. But hey, let me know what y'all think, man. Real stay safe shit. You already know what's going on. Like, comment, subscribe. Is it free YSL or keep them behind bars? Let me know if you think they're gonna beat this. Peace.